The Western Conference playoff race is a tight one as the regular season winds down. And when the Clippers visited the Grizzlies Saturday night in Memphis, it was a potential battle for home court in what might be a first round playoff matchup. DeAndre Jordan was an energetic presence down low and the Clippers bench seemed to return to their prime. But when Karan Butler left the game at halftime with a sore right knee, Grant Hill stepped in and really made an impact on the game. His first game appearance since March 30th as the Clippers come away with a 91-87 win here in Memphis. Well, yeah, I mean, it was everybody. I mean, you know, Bled and Lamar, Ryan, um, you know, the depth really helped us tonight, you know, Jamal. Um, but, you know, the, the the old man out there, Grant, you know, he had a couple big shots, a couple blocks for us, so really proud of him. And, um, you know, he stays ready, and that's what it's up. You know, play big, you know, like I was talking about, got to play big in the biggest moments, and um, we are able to, you know, do a good job defensively in that fourth quarter. And you got out there, though, and immediately kind of made an impact on that game. How, how did you feel you about back out there? It was good. It was good to be out there. It's good to play, and um, you know, it just—it's been a—it's been a challenge just uh, this year. But the thing, I guess, is to try to stay mentally into it, mentally engaged, mentally involved. And um, you know, I've been working with the player development staff, Dave and, How and Howard, and. Um, you know, just waiting for an opportunity, and it came tonight. Potential first-round playoff match, a battle for home court advantage tonight. I mean, how important was this game, and did you feel that going in? Uh, yeah, this game was really important uh, tonight. We knew that. We knew it was at stake. We knew it was at stake tonight, and uh, we really knew we had to come in and you know be the great Memphis team. And you know, in order for us to be a great playoff team, we have to. Uh, we have. To oh! <laughs> <laughs> we got we got to beat, beat teams like this. Keep it rolling. I just got a, got a physical. So physical post game in here. Post this. I want to see what everybody thinks. Speaking of playing physical, the first half you were playing pretty physical out there too. How? Huh? Yeah, it seems like we play physical post game too, man. Thanks. Um, no, I just tried to come out and set the tone early for us. Um, we knew that this team was going to come out and play physical. They're a grind team. And, you know, when we play these guys, it's going to be a war. And um, I just tried to come out early and set the tone and just try to you know, get everybody's intensity level up tonight. DJ, the first half was outstanding. I thought his activity, tip-ins, just active, had a big block at the end of the game. He stayed into it. Um, you know, he, they probably missed a couple calls on him, but he, you know, he kept his emotions in check pretty well and just stayed in the moment, which was great. So. You know, you, you only win these type of games with everybody. Everyone's got to step up at a certain time. Uh, you know, Matt, uh, just everybody. So uh, that's what you need. You win and lose as a team, and tonight it was a team win for sure. We knew that we had to fight. You know, it wasn't going to be over in the first half. In the second half, we, uh, we picked it up defensively and got the win. Grant Hill came in. Yes, he did. He did. What, you know, he made an impact right away, it seemed like, in his first game since March 30th. Grant's 107 years old, so I commend him on even standing up. No, nah, no, nah, Grant, he, uh, man, he, he played a hell of a basketball game tonight for us, man. He came in, you know, he wasn't even loose. He came in and, you know, he was out there running 100 miles per hour with Eric Bledsoe tonight. So, uh, oh. so. Uh, Keeping up the physical. Yeah, yeah, physical. So, um, you know, he had a couple of big plays for us. He had, got some offensive rebounds, some blocks, hit two big shots for us and uh, got us back into the game. So, um, you know, we can get that Grant from him. Um, yeah, exactly. Grant for president. With just two games left in the regular season, still much remains uncertain. But the one thing that's for sure is the Clippers are in control of their own destiny. If they win their final two games, they will secure home court advantage either as the four seed or with a chance to catch Denver at the three. From Memphis, I'm Madeline Burke for LAC TV.